Hello friends, this video on periodic classification of elements part 8 is brought to you by examfree.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 7. If you talk about atomic size, the atomic size decreases. Please note, this is a critical here. Please pay attention here. If you move from here, the atomic size it has less about this much size. This becomes this, this becomes this, 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 this. This is all the atomic sizes. It decreases. Why? Because, see, there is no extra shell, right? There is no extra shell. Same shell. If each of these has the same shell. If you see the electronic configuration is 281. 282. So all has three shells. Correct? Now, as the atomic number increases, the number of uh, proton, the number of proton in the nuclei increases, it has more and more positive charge, correct? The, num the positive charge increases, the positive charge increases, the power of the nucleus to attract electron also increases, right? So since the power is more, it attracts electron more towards itself and thus the atom shrinks. Hope you understand this. See, this guy has, let's suppose, uh, 11 proton, right, 11 positive. This guy has got 12 positive, 13 positive, right, 14 positive and 15 positive, 16 positive, 17 positive and 18 positive electron, like this proton. Now, this guy, 11 proton can, I mean, the shells are not increasing, the shells are still the same. So, this guy will not be able to attract this electron much, so the size is more. This guy, since it has more charge, it will attract electron a little bit closer. This guy will attract a little bit closer, a little bit closer, like this, right? So since it has more power, it will attract it electrons a little bit closer and thus the size will also decrease. Correct? That's how it is. In the class of 11, maybe when we study the atoms in a more detail, we will like actually explain how the cells looks like, how the Nucleus looks like actually it is like this. The nucleus is just this much, and this is my atom. This is how it is. Right? Nucleus is only this much, and this electron keeps moving here, it keeps moving here, and keep jumping across different shells, and it moves in a spherical form. It's it's not the plate kind of form which I'm showing you. Actually, it's a ball kind of thing. It's in a, um, uh, it's a ball actually kind of things. You can think this of a football and. These guy you now keeps moving here and there, keeps jumping here and there. And the way it moves very fast, it, it moves very fast and you feel like it is a sphere. Similar to fan, if you see the fan, right, the blades, it rotates and you see, feel that it's a complete circle. But when it stops, you see that it has only uh, three wings, right, it has only three wings. But when it rotates very fast, you feel that it's a complete circle, right. Similar like this, so we have this electron, this moves very fast here and then it, you feel that it is a big sphere, right? So that's how it is. So in this case, if this has more charge, this guy can attract more towards itself. So this guy will not go out. This guy will be a little closer, right? If this guy is more charged, it is a little bigger, it will attract this guy here. So this guy may be this much big only. And that's why the electron, the atom size decreases as you go from left to right in a given period. Because there is no extra shell, but the nucleus has more power to attract electron and to attract electrons. If you talk about the metallic character, it decreases, but the non-metallic character increases. I'll, I'll show you why. See, metallic character is what? Tendency to lose electron, right? So I'll say metallic is the thing what? Lose electron. Now, if you see this guy, sodium, sodium can lose electron easily, but magnesium won't be able to lose electron. Why? Because same thing. So this guy has 12 proton, right? So this guy will bind the electron tighter. See. This guy sodium has only 11 electrons, 11 protons. So this guy can go out, can go out. But this guy, let's suppose, has got 12. 
this will be difficult for him to go out little difficult this guy got 13 it will be all the more difficult for him to go out right so this guy is very easy so i'll write three here this guy for him it is little difficult and for him this guy is all the more difficult why because this guy is not able to hold it 11 proton is not able to hold this properly but 13 proton is able to hold this guy thus if you see the tendency to lose electron decrease and thus metallic character decrease hope you understand the same tendency to lose electronic decrease thus the metallic height also decrease also if you see sodium has only one extra electron so it can easily give one electron right so it has more metallic this guy has two electrons extra so it will be a little hesitant to give two electrons this guy has three electrons extra so it will be all the more hesitant to give three electrons right and that's also one reason why the metallic character decreases as we go from here. The two reasons, one is the size of the nuclei and the second is the number of extra electrons. If I talk about the non-metallic thing, this guy has uh, one deficient, this guy has two deficient, this guy has three deficient, right? So if you see, for him to get three electrons is difficult, difficult. For him to get two electron is uh, normal and for him to get only one electron is very easy right so thus if you see this guy can easily get one electron so this guy is more non-metallic this guy is little difficult to get two electrons this guy is little less non-metallic and this guy needs to take three this guy is all the more non-metallic uh, I mean all the more uh, very weak met non-metallic you can say right so that's why it is this guy needs three so it is little less non-metallic, this guy is only one, so it can, it will do anything to get this one and then it is more non-metallic. So as you see, the non-metallic character is increasing. Hope you understand this. The non-metallic character is increasing and the metallic character is decreasing. Correct. So there are two reasons, one is the, the, the number of protons it has and also the number of valence electrons. It has one, two, three. And then it has it needs only three to one in that fashion. If you talk about the chemical reactivity, so the same thing, the the chemical reactivity first decrease and then increase. Why? Because this guy needs uh, it has one extra. It can give one extra easily. It is more reactive. This guy has two extra. It will take some time to give two elements to uh, electrons. It is a little less reactive. This guy has three extra. It is less reactive all the more. This guy has four extras, all the more reactive. This guy needs, this guy has, this guy needs three, right? This guy needs three. This guy needs three. So it will somehow get, this guy needs only two. It will be a little more reactive. This guy needs only one, this is all the more reactive. So if you see, reactive, reactive, I'll write like this. I'll talk about the reactivity, right? So the reactivity is going down and then it's going up. That's how it is. Reactive, less reactive, less reactive, less reactive, more reactive, more reactive, more reactive. Correct. If you talk about the nature of oxides, so if you see the basic nature of oxides decreases and acidic nature's nature of oxides increases. This is all because if you see, uh, if you go from here to here, I told metallic character decreases, right? and acidic character sorry non-metallic character non-metallic character increases right so same thing metallic character will give you a basic oxide so basic oxide decreases and non-metallic character will give you acidic oxides right so acidic oxides nature increases same thing similar to the metallic and non-metallic we have basic and basic oxide thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again